Old Dutch, the cleanser that gives you quicker cleaning because it's made with seismatite, presents Bachelor's Children. When Mrs. Irving Cruz of 2000 Greenleaf Avenue, Chicago, watched the coin test, she said, quote, It's amazing to see the difference in cleansers. The coin moves so smoothly over the old Dutch. Of course, my experience bears out the results of the coin test. I've used old Dutch for years and know it doesn't scratch, unquote. Thank you, Mrs. Cruz. We're glad you found the coin test interesting. Of course, housekeepers from coast to coast tell us old Dutch passes the test of daily use. Laboratory tests also show Old Dutch doesn't scratch, but the Old Dutch coin test makes it possible for you to test your cleanser right in your own home. Now, here's all you have to do. Take a piece of glass and sprinkle a little cleanser on it. Then, rub a coin over the cleanser. Listen. That grinding and grating sound is your warning that this cleanser contains scratchy particles that will mar surfaces, making them harder to keep clean, more work for you. Now, hear the big difference when we make the same test with Old Dutch. There's no unpleasant scratching sound because Old Dutch is made with seismatite and the coin moves smoothly over the flaky, flat-shaped particles. So your Old Dutch not only saves surfaces, it saves you time and work, too. This morning, Miss Betty Zerb of Two Rivers, Wisconsin, and Mrs. Robert Bluss of Evanston watched us make this test. We hope you ladies enjoy the program. Now for today's chapter in the story of Bachelor's Children. It's early evening, and Janet and the doctor are sitting together in the living room. Let's join them. Shall I turn on a light, Janet? All right, if you want to, but I'm nearly through with this article I'm reading. Well, even so, I think we need some light. Almost dark outside now. Yeah, that's better. I ought to write a letter to Ruth Ann, but I don't seem to have much ambition tonight. What's the matter? Tired? A little, yeah. Time to get in last night. 11.30. Earlier than you did. <laughs> I guess you did it, though. <laughs> I was just dropping off to sleep when I heard you coming up the stairs. You'd better give an account of yourself. I didn't promise <laughs> you, Sam, that I'd keep an eye on you during her absence, but uh, perhaps I should have. Oh, I think my conduct will bear inspection. I drove out to hear the music festival. Oh? And, by the way, I saw Sam and Marjorie out there. Oh, did you? Mm-hmm. They always seem to be bobbing up at the same place as we go, don't they? Well, naturally expect to see Marjorie at the festival with her love of music. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Well, uh, tell me about Roy. What's he doing here in town? He was here on business, so he said. Mm-hmm. Gee, he's had some wonderful experiences. He was telling me about an experience he had up in Alaska last summer. Sure, what was that? Oh, he was taking some machinery and equipment up there. He got lost and was alone for five whole days. Hmm. When he gets here the next time, ask him to tell you about it. He expects to be back again in a few weeks. Oh, does he? Mm Mm-hmm. How'd you like Roy? Well enough. Only that well? The way you said that didn't mean much. Or did it? Well, what did you expect me to say? He's nice and interesting company. Oh, what struck him to call you and ask you out? Oh, I don't know. He said he didn't get a chance to get acquainted with me that time he was up here to dinner, and... Well, that's all. Mm-hmm. Going to see him again when he gets in town again? He asked me to. And I expect I will if I'm not too busy. Dr. Bob... Mm-hmm. I've just been reading an article in this art magazine about pictures. That's so? Mm-hmm. And I never realized before how very important it is... The pictures be hung just right. Well, how do you mean? Well, this writer says that the finest painting can be lost by being hung in a spot where it doesn't get the proper lighting. Yes, I suppose that's true. Sure it is. 
While I was reading it, I looked around the room at some of your pictures. And there are a couple here that are absolutely wasted because they're hung so there are shadows on them. For instance? Well, take that one over there near the piano. It's in a place where the light from the window just misses it. And instead of showing up the painting, there's a shadow over it. From here, I can't make out what it is. Mm, yes, you're right at that. Well, let's see. Uh, where would be a better spot for it? I've already figured that out. Oh, you have? Uh-huh. It should be over on this wall, just about in the middle. Then it'll get the light from this other window and also from this lamp at night. Mm-hmm. It would, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. You really are learning things about home decoration, aren't you, little lady? I hope so. I'd better. <laughs> Starting out as I did without having had a complete course in decorating. I think this winter I'll take a course in some school. Might be a good idea. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I'm learning an awful lot from Mr. Booth. Mm-hmm. But I think I'll take a course anyway. It'll help put in the time, if nothing else. Of course. Well, do you think it's necessary? After all, uh, with Mr. Booth with you, he knows his stuff in decorating. Mm, I still want to do it. <laughs> you planning on having a lot of leisure time on your hands this winter? Well, I'll have the evenings with nothing to do. Uh-huh. Well, maybe not if Roy McDevitt's in town very often. Oh, Dr. Bob, you're as bad as Ruth Ann. <laughs> in what way? Matchmaking. <laughs> Ever since you and she were married, she almost sends out announcements every time I go out with a man. I guess that's one of the characteristics of marriage. Well, maybe that's because the married couples are so happy that they want all their friends to enjoy a similar bliss. Maybe. But anyway, I'm afraid you're going to have to put up with having me around for quite some time. Well, we'll just try to bear up the best way we can under the punishment. (laughs) Not all we can do. (laughs) Would you, um... Would you care if I changed it now? What? That picture. Oh. The one we were talking about a minute ago. Changed it? You mean, uh, rehang it? Mm-hmm. It really should be done, and there's no time like the present. Well, no. Go ahead, if you like. It, you can't do it alone. Well, I know I can't. That's why I want to do it now, while you're here to help me. Oh, I see. So <laughs> Going to have to move from the comfort of my easy chair and climb step ladders, is that it? Uh-huh. It'll be good exercise for you. <laughs> I'll promise to do most of the work. All right. Well, what's first? Well, will you get the step ladder? You know, that small one Ellen keeps in the pantry. Yes, I know. Anything else you need from out here? No, I don't think so. Oh, yes, you might bring a dust cloth. I'll wipe the picture off before I rehang it. All right. Step ladder and dust cloth. Let's see. I'll move this chair over here. Oh. Hello? Yes? Michael? No, he isn't. Not right now. He went to a picture show. Is there any message? Oh. All right. Goodbye. Who's that, Dallas? Call for Michael. Oh. I guess it was the fair Dorothy. Well, didn't she say who she was? Oh, no, she never does when she calls. She doesn't? She just says, uh, thanks, I'll call later. (laughs) I guess she's afraid of us. (laughs) She must be. Well, now if you'll take down that picture. All right. I think I can get this ladder in there without having to move the piano. Oh, sure you can. (laughs) You hand the picture down to me and I'll wipe it off. All right. There, now I'll... Uh, I bet you wish I'd get my ideas when you're not around, don't you? No, not at all. There. Uh, now, uh, Janet, uh, can you hold that while I get out? Uh, all right. Steady it there. I have it. Got it. Oh, oh, I'll get it just as soon as I stand this picture against something. Maybe it's Ruth Ann calling long distance again. Oh, I hardly think it would. Hello? Yes, it is. Dr. Graham? Yes, he's right here. Dr. Bob. All right. Hello? Yes. What was it? Oh, I see. Well, all right. I'll be right over there. In the meantime, don't do anything about it. Yes, just as soon as I can get there. Goodbye. What was it? Baby, one of my patients fought a button. Oh, I'll have to leave right away. I won't be able to help you with that picture till I get back. Oh, that's all right. 
Uh, shall I get your case for you? No, I'll tie it in the car. I didn't bring it in. I'll hang that picture when I get back. I, I shouldn't be very long. I'll get there. Okay. Well, hello, Sam. Hi, Bob. I thought I'd kind of drop in. in. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> I have to go out to see a patient, but uh, go right on in there. Kind of I'll be back in just a little while. Well, all right. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Hello, Sam. Hi there. Hey, Bob looked like he was in a hurry. Yeah, he was. A baby swallowed a button, and he's on his way over to take care of it. <laughs> button, button, who's got the button? <laughs> oh, Sam, you're crazy. <laughs> Sit down. Thank you. I'm just in the midst of turning the Graham house upside down. Yeah. <laughs> what goes on? I'm rehanging one of the pictures. Oh. It was in a bad light, so I'm changing it. Mm-hmm. Dr. Bob was helping me when he got the call. Well, uh, how about me? Can't I be of some assistance? Well, maybe you can. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'll tell you. If you'll put this ladder over there. Uh, see, right there. Mm. Then I can show you where I want the picture hung. All right. Here, ladder, ladder, ladder. Oh, I see you there, you little rascal. Come on, now. come to Papa. That's a nice ladder. Now then, right here. Is this where you want it? <laughs> yeah, all right, here's a picture now. Mm-hmm. You get up on the ladder and put the hook on the molding, and then I'll hand you the picture. Yeah, all right, but now wait a minute. I think I'll take off my coat first. If I'm going to be a working man, I might just as well look like one. <laughs> hey, what are you doing on that ladder? Don't you? I'd hang that picture. I just want to hold it up first, so... So I can see if it's going to look right here. So steady the ladder for me, will you? Yeah, all right. Wait a minute. There. Well? What do you think? I'm so close to it, I can't see what the effect is. Wait, I'll lean back a little. Stop! Oh, Sam, catch me. I'm falling. It's all right, Janet. I've got you. Sam. Oh, Janet. Janet, sweet. Sam. Oh, Sam, dearest. You're the one. It's been you all the time. And I didn't know it. After all Sam's wooing, it has taken a little thing like falling off a ladder into his arms to make Janet realize that he is the man she loves. And now, what? Listen Monday for the continuance of this scene. When Mrs. Carl Batter of Webster Grove, Missouri, visited us recently, she said, My cleaning woman gave me a tip that I certainly appreciate. The inside walls of our front screened-in porch and our sleeping porch in the rear are painted a cream color. This spring, they were so dingy and dirty and covered with fingerprints that I asked her what to do. She just took my old Dutch and cleaned them in no time. I wish you could see them now. The painted surface looks like new. As I have a -a two-and-a-half-year-old boy, we have plenty of sticky little fingerprints. And every time we clean, we go all over the kitchen wall, the woodwork with old Dutch. It's a big time saver. Thank you, Mrs. Batter, for sharing your experience with us. The old Dutch method of cleaning painted surfaces is quick and easy. Be sure to try it. Just sprinkle a little old Dutch on a damp cloth, wipe the surface, rinse the cloth in clear water, and wipe again. You'll find the painted surface fresh and clean. This is only one of the many ways old Dutch saves time, work, and money. Buy a supply from your grocer today. I told you yesterday that we have a surprise for you, Monday. It's something you'll find a great use for. Ella never realized just how handy it was until recently, and now she says she couldn't get along without it. We're going to tell you what this surprise is on Monday, so be sure to listen. Young speaking and inviting you to listen to another episode of Bachelor's Children next Monday morning at this same time. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System.
This is WGN, the voice of the people of Chicago.